Well guys, welcome back to another video. Excited to be out today. You will probably guessed earlier on in the video that I'm back up at Cypress Falls in West Vancouver here. Amongst these glorious trees, see the size of some of these old growth trees behind us. Really looking forward to exploring the upper part of this forest. Last time when I came, I was below the waterfalls there, lower falls. So I've come up past lower falls and I'm interested to see what I can come across in this area. Now in my last video it was challenging, it was wet, it was raining, but I think it made for some nice conditions to capture the rainforest scenes. Now the forecast today is overcast skies, so it might work in our favour, could do with some low cloud, we haven't got that at the moment. It's about 10-15 minutes to sunrise, I wanted to get into the forest nice and early, recce out some locations, but really excited to explore this upper part of this forest see what we can come across see if we can make some images so hope you enjoy today's video let's make our way onto these trails and here's to a good day Well, I've made my way up this glorious forest. It's a beautiful morning, lovely and quiet. Got the place to myself and enjoying these beautiful trees. Now it's really overcast at the moment, so it's quite dark in areas where you don't have any direct sunlight. Uh, so we don't have a lot of directional light at the moment. But we have got ambient light from the sky above. Look at that scene behind, isn't it beautiful? Got this lovely forest river leading up into the distance there there's plenty of interest lovely waterfall at the bottom catching some of that reflective light from the sky in all locations i want it got this log coming in from the left hand side it's coated with that lovely moss but it's being highlighted by that reflective light and that's what i'm going to use for this shot because we don't have any directional light any sunlight or atmospheric conditions i'm going to work with the ambient light of the sky You'll be able to see that the rock formation leading off from the right hand side is catching some of that lovely light. The edges are nice and dark. We've got a boulder to the left hand side there. Really, I was really attracted to that because that's coated in that moss and it's catching that light. Now I'm taking the video at 24 mil, so you'll probably be able to see that the rapids and the river's quite small. It's still beautiful, but like last time, I want to emphasize that and get closer in on the detail. Uh, because the edges are quite messy, so if you can pick out a composition and, and simplify it, that always works better. So I'm going to put the 7200 on, I'm going to do it at 70 mil. Now I'm actually going to take a vertical panel, so I'm going to take two to three shots. And I'll put some video and you can see on the screen above. Now it is quite dark at the moment, uh, we don't have a lot of movement in there, there isn't much of a breeze. So the images seem to be coming out okay, they seem to be nice and sharp. Now I'm not going to focus stack, I want to take it all in one shot and then basically just stitch two or three shots together. Now I'm going to be underexposing by at least a stop 
maybe even more but I know because of the camera system I'm using the Sony A7R3 the dynamic range is unbelievable it really is so if I want to lift any detail out of those shadows I can when I get back to post now what I tend to do is I get it as close as I can in camera and I do you know it is dark I want it to look how I seen it I want to keep the image natural you know I don't want to be going back to post and changing it to something it wasn't so for me getting it right in camera how you're seeing it on the day when you get back to post you don't have to do as much work now when you do have to do a lot of work when you go back to post for me it means you haven't got it right on the day so getting it right on the day is really important so i'm going to get on take some more images while i'm here the light's changing slightly so it's getting a bit lighter so i might be able to reduce my iso and we'll see how we get on and then head further up this forest what an amazing place So I've made my way further into the forest. Hopefully we've got those images back there. The light was okay. It was nice and balanced. You know, we didn't have any fog or mist. We don't seem to be getting a lot of that lately. And that's obviously because the weather's warming up now. So I was making my way down this trail, looking deep into the forest, looking for subjects to photograph for when this light does change. Now I've came across this really strange figure in the forest. It really is amazing. You know, I've got these old growth trees behind us, so I was really looking for composition, seeing how that light was changing. And I seen this stump, and it was just a twisted piece of wood. Now, if you look to the right hand side, there's like a bit of a stump with some twisted wood on top with those mosses. But as you move round, it actually forms this figure. And it, it blew us away when I seen it, it was that spooky. Um, all I can say is it must be the guardian of the forest guarding these old growth trees because it really does look magnificent. So I'm going to head over to these trees now. I'm going to show you some footage of this uh, creature or whatever it is that I've found. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think it looks like. Uh, but it truly is an amazing thing to come across. just about fall off there. I've climbed up onto this log so you can see us because if it was on the forest floor you probably wouldn't see half my body. So I've made way over from the guardian of the forest that was guarding these glorious trees. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below uh, what you thought it, it looked like. Uh, it was quite special to come across and it was quite amazing to see. So I've made it over to these beautiful trees and they are amazing. Now it's still overcast, every now and again we get sunshine, you know we do get spells of sunshine, but for this area it does create 
uh, specular highlights on the trees and that's not really what I want. I want it to be really balanced. So what I'm going to go for, because I want to show off all the trees, I've decided to go for the wide shot. Now you'll see that we're getting light coming in from the right hand side. There is a gap in the tree canopy there letting some ambient light coming in. We have had rain but that's stopped and every now and again we get sunshine as well so it's quite a mixed bag today. Now I've spent a long time here looking for the composition. It's really messy. We've got deadfall everywhere. The ferns aren't looking so cheerful. We have just come out of winter and we're leading into spring so they're looking quite drab and dreary still. Uh, but we're getting this ambient light coming in from the right hand side, your left hand side, and it's highlighting the sides of these trees and they really stand out in the composition. Now what I've had to concentrate on, took the camera off the tripod, moved about to get separation with these trees, that's been the hard part. Hiding trees behind other trees just so you can single out the ones that you want to photograph, so that's really important. Just move about as long as it takes to get the shot that you want. Now what I love is, I love the way these trees are being highlighted. They've got beautiful bark on the sides of them. I've got a tree to the right, your right hand side there and it's leaning slightly in. I've got a tree to my right hand side here and it's, like, it's leaning in so it's really holding in the shot. I'm gonna try and discard some of the forest floor because like I've just said, it's chaotic. If you look in between these two trees here, there's a smaller tree at the back and it's really important because it's added that extra layer of depth. I was really attracted to that tree so I wanted to make sure that I framed it in between these two trees. Now, because we have had a little bit of rain, I've put the polarizer on, but luckily I'm getting a long shutter speed. Because there's no breeze or wind in here, everything's really still so I'm getting away with round about one to two second exposure time. Now I'm shooting it with the 24mm at f14, I'm focusing directly on that tree there. That's getting everything sharp from front to back because I'm quite a bit off this tree. They are quite large so that's what you've got to do when you're photographing such big trees. So I'm going to get back to the camera, I'll take some images, see if we get some nice light in here. I've got some sunlight before but it was creating specular highlights on these trees and it didn't look very nice in the image so I waited for the the light to go uh, but every now and again we get some diffused sunlight coming in which is nice because it's nice and soft on the sides of these barks we'll just have to cross our fingers see if we get any more good light i'm going to take some variations have a good look around before i leave and see if i come across any more images what a beautiful location
So it's a bit later in the day now. I actually headed up to the Upper Falls, made it up to the Upper Cypress Falls there. Now it was beautiful, but when I got up there, you probably haven't seen the video, it was very dark. It was really dark and gloomy. Didn't really come across any images, so I started walking slowly back down the opposite side of the canyon through the forest. Now I did try out some shots on the way, and if they've turned out, I will put those up. So I'm pretty much where I started this morning, I'm at the waterfall for a photograph first thing. Now I looked down into the canyon and there was actually a part where you could climb down. So I've made it as close to the falls as I can. Now the reason being, it's a lot lower down, so it creates a lot more depth. And we're getting some nice light now, it's not as dark as it was this morning. So it should be easier to gain those quicker shutter speeds. Now the idea of the shot I've got here, I just basically want the waterfall slightly to the left hand side, but I want to include all these lovely boulders with the green mosses on. Got some nice foliage on the left hand side on the boulders. Now some nice direction because the right side's catching more light than the left. We've got some nice ambient light up the centre of the waterfall there. Now I'm going to utilise the 7200 again, I'm going to shoot at 70mm. I'm going to do a portrait pano again, probably two or three shots. But like I said, because we've got the sunlight behind, it's been diffused by some of the cloud. It got quite harsh earlier on there, so that's why I decided to stop and have some tea. So I'm shooting at 100 ISO, I have put the polarizer on. Now when we get more of that light in here, I'll be able to increase my shutter speed. And F14 is getting everything sharp from front to back. And I'm just looking forward to seeing how it works out. It's just a different angle on what I took this morning. So I'm back up in the forest, came up from the canyon there, tried a couple of images, hopefully they've came out, because we actually did get some sunlight, so fingers crossed that it helped out with those couple of images that I was trying there. It was just nice to get down into the canyon, different perspective on it to what I got this morning, so that's always key. Keep going back to areas that you've been, and just see how the lights change, see if you can get a different angle on it and it always helps with your photography because you're always learning. Now it's been a brilliant day, it really has. We didn't get the best conditions, we didn't get fog, we didn't get mist, but it's all about the adventure and we got to see more of Cypress Falls today. Now we took you up to the Upper Falls, it was beautiful up there, it was great, it was just a bit dark, it was a bit tricky for shots, so I wasn't really coming across anything at the time. Now I did try some images, so if they have came out, I will put them on the screen above, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it today, I really do. Now we've got to see more trails, we've got to adventure up more trails, and that's what's exciting about coming to new locations. You go up trails and you don't know what you're going to come across. Now today we came across the Guardian of the Forest. It was amazing to see, I couldn't believe it. I had to do a double take and walk back, and when I seen it I was quite gobsmacked. So let us know in the comments below the video what you think it looked like. I'd be really interested to see what you guys think. Uh, but it was, it was amazing. But it is time to head back to Vancouver now. I've had a brilliant day out. It's been a long day, but thoroughly enjoyable. And I got me exercise in and I had fun. Now I have had a couple of messages, you know, am I funded? Do I get money off YouTube? And the answer to that question is no, I don't. I do it for the love of photography and that's why people commenting on my videos, it's really important to me 
I love getting your feedback and that's what gives me the drive to get out. It's not about making money, it's about the love of photography and adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I am going to head back to Vancouver now. It's been brilliant having you along. Can't wait to take you to a new location soon. I'm not sure where yet. I'll have to have a think, have a look at the map and see where I fancy going next. But if you've enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up as usual. Don't forget to comment. Let us know about the Guardian of the Forest. If you haven't seen my videos before, hit the subscribe button. I get to show you more of British Columbia and I can't wait to be back out soon. So from me and Cypress Falls, thanks for watching. Bye bye.